Let's move on to what to do should you develop symptoms or suspect that you may have contracted some coronavirus uh, symptoms. What should people, what precautions should they be taking? So I think the very first thing to really emphasize is that um, if you are sick, you should stay home Mm -hmm. unless you are seeking medical care. Um, We are, we suspect that there will be uh, transmission within the community and we want to do what we can. And I think it's everyone's responsibility Mm -hmm. to try and do what we can to not overwhelm our Mm -hmm. healthcare system. And so definitely uh, stay home unless you're going out to get medical care. Um, You should try and separate yourself from people and animals in your home. So as I mentioned earlier, um, spread occurs amongst close contacts. And so those would be the people at higher risk for getting sick from you if you yourself are unwell. If you decide that you uh, do need to get care for your illness, uh, you should call ahead before you visit your doctor Mm -hmm. or enter a healthcare facility. Um, And uh, you will be advised to wear a mask before you enter any Mm -hmm. of those those facilities to help prevent transmission of the infection to other people. Um, Your doctor will also be the best person to work with your uh, local public health officials to determine what your risk is for having this infection and whether you qualify for testing. Mm -hmm. Um, And so it's important that you let them know um, so that you know where to go if they do decide that you should be tested for this. Um, Other things in terms of preventing transmission to other people is to practice what we call respiratory etiquette. So covering your coughs and Mm -hmm. sneezes, um, either coughing or sneezing into your elbow or into a tissue and washing your hands really well after that. what, hand washing frequently is really one of the best ways to prevent transmission and something that we are encouraging everyone to do. I think everyone should get into the habit of washing their hands as one of the first things they do when they enter their homes. Yes. Uh, try and keep the home kind of a clean right. and mm-hmm. uh, protected space. Um, and then they have also advised cleaning high touch surfaces. So these are things mm-hmm. like um, faucets, tabletops, doorknobs, light switches, things that you touch frequently um, on a daily basis to prevent transmission through those those objects. Uh, monitor your sy- symptoms closely. Mm-hmm. Um, most people who just have a cold don't need to go in and see a doctor for that. Um, kind of worrisome symptoms to look out for obviously are things like uh, difficulty breathing, um, dehydration if you're not able to drink fluids, chest pain, those types of things mm-hmm. would be reasons to seek medical care. Um, and But it's important to kind of be in contact with your healthcare provider um, regarding your specific situation. And again, if you are going in to be evaluated, um, always helpful to inform them prior that mm-hmm. you're coming in so that the appropriate precautions can be taken to protect other people mm-hmm. that might be around. Absolutely. 